Hi, my name is Chris Dixon. I'm the co-founder of Hunch. This is Founder Stories, um, and today we have uh, Dennis Crowley from uh, co-founder of Foursquare. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> um, and I should disclose I'm an investor in Foursquare. So. Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> so, um, so how? Uh, so let's go back and talk a little bit. So you, before Foursquare, founded Dodgeball. Mm -hmm. Before that, you were at ITP. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the sort of history of 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 uh, kind of the idea and yeah, so the dodgeball stuff actually started a little bit before ITP. Mm -hmm. um, I was I used to work at this company called Jupiter around 2000 or so, and just got bored at my desk. I had a desk job, and you know started thinking about ways to build things like City Search where everyone could contribute. Like you should be able to write your own reviews and add mm -hmm. your own venues, and that stuff eventually grew up to be, you know, so that was kind of Yelpish. You were thinking, yeah, it was of? like it was Yelpish was like in 2000 or so, yeah, yeah. Um, before a lot of the user generated stuff, mm -hmm. and then you know as my friends started getting laid off from. Um, from the, our jobs, so the dot com crash, right, the dodgeball stuff started to becoming more about like let's find out where all of our laid off friends are hanging out during yeah. the day. I, I, I mean, I remember using it yeah. back in the day, like it was just all SMS based. But yeah, yeah, you were so like, limited by the phones though, because the phone, all the phone you could do was you didn't well, you couldn't even do phones. SMS then. It was all yeah, yeah. wireless web, and uh, so you yeah, would like yeah. you know check in on your on your little two screen. <laughs> That's funny. Like, That's lousy the WAP thing. thing yeah, the WAP browser. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was really pretty lousy. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know. I mean, the dodgeball stuff sat sat dormant for a while. And then when I went to ITP, I met up with Alex Reinhardt, um, who now... Just so people know, ITP is oh, yeah. it's, it's NYU's uh, sort of like Media Lab-ish program. Yeah, right? yeah, it's called the Interactive Telecommunications Program, mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of like a mix between art school and, and tech school, or mm -hmm. product camp. And yeah. so it's a two-year program, you just crank out as much stuff as you can. Um, I think it's probably, in my opinion, one of the most interesting programs in New York, and doesn't get enough attention. I yeah, I, I've never seen a program like it anywhere else. Like, it's mm -hmm. compared to the Media Lab a lot, but it's like, it's just the right amount of, of unstructured, where it's just mm -hmm. like a crazy research lab, and people yeah, yeah. turning out all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so Alex and I met there, and about halfway through ITP, we decided that we should, you know, we should work together and resurrect some of those ideas. And, you know, it was after things like Friendster were out, and, you know, Friendster had taught people about what social networks were, and um, you know, Dodgeball was able to leverage some of that. It's like, oh, it's like Friendster, but for cell phones. Mm -hmm. And so, we, you know, we did that for um, about a year or so. And then when we were looking for financing, we, we had a really hard time getting any funding or getting people to listen to us. And we met the Google guys, and they're like, oh, you should bring that internally and, mm -hmm. um, you know, build it here. So you never raised money uh, for Dodgeball. You just, you got acquired, but you didn't raise money Yeah, we, we tried to. It's just, we were no like, one, yeah, 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 two scrappy NYU kids and, you know, I and think back a lot of then, people it was still like 2000, burned. what, 2003, before all the social media stuff. Like, yeah. the internet was still, like, totally uncool, and people are like, what the heck is this? And yeah, it was just around, like, when Flickr and Delicious were starting to, yeah. you know, get popular. Yeah. So yeah. we were in that, that weird class of startups. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then, so then you were Google, and then, mm -hmm. um, and then, le then you left and <coughs> started Foursquare. Yeah, so we were at Google about two years, and, um, uh, and then after Google, I worked at another company called called Area Code for a little bit, which was oh, doing yeah. you know games that overlap with the real world. Um, and then when Dodgeball got shut down in uh, January of two thousand nine, uh, Naveen, who I'd, I'd known from this other go uh, other job, um, we just decided like, hey, we should you know we've been tinkering with these ideas, we should really make something to replace Dodgeball mm -hmm. and replace some of that functionality and do it just for our friends. Like we thought we'd have fifty or hundred users, like the same people that were using Dodgeball. And it's been um you know, that was in March of two thousand nine when we launched and you know it's almost about two years later and it's just been kind of a crazy ride up until uh, today. You know, I was just so recently talking to Kevin from uh, Instagram mm -hmm. and he was at Google. And it's kind yeah. of funny because people always say like Google <coughs> doesn't have social DNA, but like you were at Google, Ev was at Google, Kevin was at Google, like yeah. all, kind of like all the hot social startups. Yeah. So it sort of seems to me like it, the, it's not the matter of having good people. It's maybe it's just sort of a cultural thing or a structural thing or whatever. Yeah, I think back in the day it was just like what was being prioritized. And, and yeah. you, know, I th um, you know, search was always a big part of it and we were, you know, kind of side projects. And there was a lot of people that were, you know, really passionate about things. But I don't think Google had, had a strategy for taking all that and, and really capitalizing on it. Yeah, one interesting thing Kevin did is, you know, they, they did this like massive pivot. I don't know if you know the story, but they did mm -hmm. this sort of massive pivot in the well, middle they were of bourbon before. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to and they did like a pre-launch yeah. pivot, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. And he was saying like he could never have done that at a big company. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, like the, sort of having that kind of flexibility or whatever. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the point. It's just like, you know, I feel like with Foursquare, we tried a whole bunch of stuff in the beginning and we expected to remove like 80% of it, but a lot of it just ended up sticking and people yeah. kind of, you know, were just into the way that we've structured initially, which is yeah. a surprise. And then, uh, and so, so then you guys were building this thing and then, um, and, 
Well, Fred Wilson told me. He said he said his favorite <laughs> story about you guys was that is that when the uh, you know you had all the VCs coming after you, everyone wanted to invest, or right? It was like kind of a little. Uh, yes, yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was pretty intense for a while. And uh, and that when they finally signed the deal or whatever, and he was going to wire you money, it turns out you didn't have a bank account. Yeah. <laughs> which is not like he wasn't saying that in a negative way; he's saying it in a positive way because you guys were like so focused on. Yeah. On product, and it just I think he he saw it as sort of like emblematic of the fact that like today sort of two technical product people can like start a company and have yeah. almost like no infrastructure and like build something really interesting. Yeah, right? it was, it, I mean, it's, it's true. It's like even when we had to incorporate the company, the only reason we did that is because we needed it to get into the, the iTunes store in a certain way. <laughs> is that right? You know? so, yeah, actually, I remember, I remember now that you're telling me about it, like having to run around to the Chase Bank account, you know, the Chase <laughs> around the corner and ask for a place and be like, yeah, we need to set up a business account and we're going to wire in like a million dollars. Is that okay? <laughs> and they're, they're looking at us and be like, oh, it's really kind of sketchy, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny.